Hey everybody. So this year at AMS, we have a new cell phone policy. And it's the same policy for everybody from grades four through eight. It's basically this. If you bring a cell phone to school, it needs to stay in your locker all day, from the beginning bell to the end of the bell. You don't carry it around with you. You don't pull it out and have it with you at lunchtime. Now, the reasons for these are two big ones. Number one, it avoids classroom disruption. Now, to understand that, here's this video from Edutopia. In 2017, researchers looked at the effect of cell phone presence on students. Students were asked to complete math problems with their cell phones placed on their desks, stashed in nearby bags or clothing, or left behind in separate rooms. They turned off ringtones, buzzing, pings, the works. In fact, students didn't interact with or hear their phones at all. But it didn't matter. The phone continued to exert a powerful influence, occupying the students' mental space even as they ignored it. Students performed worse when the phone was nearby on the desk, and no, it didn't matter if they turned it face down. They didn't fare much better when the phone was hidden in a bag or a pocket. Physical separation from the phone produced the best outcomes. So, what's the new insight here? It looks like the mere presence of our phones might be triggering a neural system called automatic attention. That's a brain system that unconsciously monitors the environment for signs of critical importance. It screens out irrelevant information, but snaps us to attention when someone calls our name, for example, an infant cries, or a police siren wails. In other words, our phones, with their constant pings and buzzes, may be tripping some of our deepest mission-critical wiring, creating a persistent sense of urgency even when the phone is completely off or stored away, and draining away precious cognitive resources that could be used for tasks like studying. What can be done about all this? The researchers concluded that intuitive fixes like placing the phone face down or turning it off were futile. And that's a direct quote. Actual physical separation from the phone was the only effective solution. That's true when your students are taking tests, of course. But the research says that physical separation is even more crucial when they're initially trying to learn something. Now, the second big reason for this change is that we're working to minimize the amount of conflict and fights between people here at school. For whatever reason, when people talk on social media, they're a lot more aggressive online than they are face to face. Here's a video I've shared last year that sort of illustrates that principle. Now we fully recognize that just by getting cell phones out of your hands during the day, we're not getting totally rid of the conflict that happens online, because that's with you outside of school. But by not having it inside of school, we can go ahead and put a speed bump or lessen the amount that affects us here when you have to talk to somebody face to face instead of virtually. So the AMS cell phone policy is basically this. If you bring a cell phone, it needs to stay in your locker from the beginning of the day bell to the end of the day bell. Your cell phone's not in your pocket because that can still be a classroom distraction. Your cell phone's not with you during your lunch period because that's the period when we most need you to interact with each other face to face. Between classes and right before lunchtime, you're allowed to check your phone at your locker if it doesn't become a problem. Now what I mean by being a problem is that if, if somebody is checking their cell phone so much at their locker, that they're, it's starting to affect their classwork. Examples of this might look like extra and excessive tardies that someone has because they're spending too much time at their locker with their cell phone between classes. Or if someone's taking excessive bathroom breaks that are really excuses to go by and take a run by the locker. Now, if that's the case, we'll have those people start checking their cell phones in at the office at the beginning of the day instead of the locker, but we'll worry about that on a one-by-one -one basis. We're not going to penalize everybody for the actions of a few people. So the final question is, what are the consequences if you're carrying a cell phone during the day 
even if it's just in your pocket, when it should be in your locker. So the first time that happens, the teacher, staff member, or administrator who takes the phone will bring it to the office. There at the end of the day, we'll talk with you briefly about what were your reasons, why you're carrying it, and then we'll let you pick it up and take it home with you. And the second time it happens, same routine. That cell phone will end up in the office where we'll talk with you at the end of the day before you pick it up to figure out what was going on. Now, the third time that happens, your phone will come to the office like always, but this time we'll need to get your parents involved. We will place a call to your parents and they'll be the ones who need to pick it up before we release the phone. If it takes more than that, we'll have to figure something else out, like having you check your phone in at the office at the beginning of the day or whatever we sort out at that point. Please note that these consequences are cumulative, which means they don't reset at semester or at any time during the year. If your phone gets taken in November for the second time, for example, it won't reset at semester and the next time it happens, no matter when it is during the year, will be the third time. So that's the why and the what of the AMS cell phone policy. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask. All right, have a great day.